you may find that you have thoughts of, but you know, how am I ever going to meet someone like that? Or all the best ones are taken or uh, nobody's perfect, you know, those kinds of things. So Aesthetic asks, how can I identify my limiting beliefs? Maybe even if I do so, I can't seem to remember my childhood memories backing them up. So thank you very much for the question, Aesthetic. And uh, so a couple of things here. So first of all, think about the things that you want in your life, that you want to change or achieve in yourself and in your life. And then as you imagine being having or doing those things, notice what happens inside you. So notice what thoughts and feelings come up. Then make a, a note of any thought or feeling that isn't in alignment with feeling good and looking forward to it and being excited and knowing that you'll achieve those changes and goals. So any thoughts of doubt or um, reasoning of why you may not be able to achieve those things, um, add those to the list and any memories of previous experiences where you weren't able to get um, or achieve what you wanted. So add those to the list as well. And then after you've done that, go through the list and spot the limiting beliefs. So for example, if you want um, a happy, fulfilling, fun relationship, um, as you imagine how wonderful that would be, you may find that you have thoughts of, but you know, how am I ever going to meet someone like that? Or all the best ones are taken or uh, nobody's perfect, you know, those kinds of things. And if you wanted to start, if you want to start a successful business, uh, as another example, you may find that as you imagine how wonderful it will be, you start to feel uh, a faint feeling of anxiety. And as you observe what's happening inside you, you may notice the idea of, well, what will my friends think? Or um, no one wants to hear from me. No one wants to hear what I have to say. Or you may notice a fear of having to speak to people. So all of these pieces are the clues to limiting beliefs, like I don't deserve or there's not enough uh, to go around or I'm not good enough, I'm not safe, that kind of thing. And then as you look at each item on that list, notice how it feels and then ask yourself where in your childhood you felt that same feeling. And remember, it may not be the same topic. So you're looking for the same feeling. Um, and then also you may not have full memories. So you may have just a moment in time or a flash of something. And that's okay because that, that moment or that flash of something is a neural network firing in your brain and uh, as that it, it's been triggered to fire by something you're focusing on or something you're thinking of or experiencing right now which means that no matter what it is or how vague or random it may seem to your conscious mind it is connected as far as the unconscious part of your brain is concerned so um, otherwise that neural network wouldn't have been triggered uh, so that means, uh, which means it wouldn't have popped into your mind. So whatever comes up from childhood, no matter how faint or vague or unrelated to the topic, make a note of it and then follow our step-by-step -step video for changing it to the opposite positive empowering. And I'll put a link to that video again, of course, in the, uh, in the description of this post, this video. So of course, if you have trauma memories, um, be sure to either reach out here for help um, so that I can help you change them or, um, or you know, get help from a practitioner. Or if you can't um, get help from a practitioner or attend live, um, follow my video for addressing trauma on your own. And again, I'll put the, the link to the description of that in this one. So I hope that's helpful, but, um, but let me know if you need any more suggestions or if you have any more questions.